play the Browning version. Now, yesterday I have given you the introduction of the play. As I told you people, this is a play about two teachers. Mr. Frank, a young teacher, Taplow, a student, right? And Mr. Crocker Harris, who is an elderly teacher. Now, uh, Taplow is waiting for Mr. Crocker Harris as Mr. Crocker Harris as a punishment. He has called Taplow to do some additional work for him as he was he has missed one of his uh, periods so he was not there he has missed one of his classes as he was unwell so the teacher has punished the child right so we have uh, read the first two pages i'm still continuing with page number three okay who was mr frank yesterday and who was taplo yesterday uh, ma'am i was reading mr frank's dialogues and okay. ma'am, I was playing Taplo. Right. Page number? Page 53. 50? 53. 53. Okay. Let's start from page number 53. Start reading, please. Uh, Ma'am, from Frank, I beg your pardon part, I'm continuing. Uh, where are you? Page number 53 only you're talking about here? Yes, ma'am. Just a second, please. Okay, let's continue. I beg your pardon. A sadist sir, is someone who gets pleasure out of giving pain. Indeed, but I think you went on to say that some other masters. Well, of course, they are, sir. I won't mention names, but you know them as well as I do. Of course, I know most masters think we boys don't understand the thing. But, sir, you are different. You are young, well, comparatively anyway, and you are science. So you must know what sadism is. Good Lord, what are our schools coming to? Anyway, the crook isn't a sadist. That's, that's what I'm saying. He won't be so frightening if he were, because at least it would show he had some feelings, but he hasn't. He's all shriveled up inside like a nut, and, it, and he seems to hate people to like him. It's funny that, I don't know any other master who doesn't like being liked. Okay. Now, uh, as I told you this thing yesterday also, Taplo is very angry. Somewhere he is uh, not comfortable because of Mr. Crocker Harris. The teacher is very stern, very strict. And the child, because he's talking to another teacher, in the beginning, he's a bit reserved. He's not opening up. But as gradually he's now comfortable, he is uh, just telling his views about the teachers. So Mr. Crocker Harris, as he has punished him and the child is really feeling bad because it's an off day for him. He was supposed to go to play golf, but he is here waiting for the teacher for the additional work which he has to do as a punishment just for missing a class. And that too, because he was unwell, right? So uh, he now he has started discussing about teachers with another teacher, Mr. Frank. So he says, he's telling Mr. Frank that you are different. You are young and you understand certain things. That is what I was discussing with you people yesterday. Uh, just like every teacher has his own methodology of teaching, every teacher has his or her own way of uh, uh, making things understand to you, dealing with you people. And at the same time, because they are different individuals, ultimately the purpose, the intention is the same for children's benefit. But then here we find the child talking about, uh, somewhere he's scared that his talk might not be passed on to the teacher. But yes, now he's opening up. And he says that uh, anyway, the croc isn't a sadist. So now he's coming to the point he's now calling him croc. So he says croc isn't a sadist. That's what I'm saying. He wouldn't be so frightening if he were because at least it, be, uh, it would show he had some feelings. So he it would somewhere show that he had some feelings. But the child here feels, he gets a uh, notion about the teacher that the teacher has no feeling at all. But he hasn't. He's all shriveled up inside like a nut. So it's like he has... Uh, shut all the doors he's closed everything just like a nut and he seems to hate people to like him right he seems to hate 
the teacher, the person hates that someone should like him. It's funny that I don't know any other master who doesn't like being liked. So he says, I do not know any other teacher who doesn't like to be liked by all. Please continue. And I don't know anybody who doesn't use that for his own purposes. Well, it's natural, sir, but not with the croc. Mr. Crocker Harris. Mr. Crocker Harris, the funny thing is that in spite of everything, I do rather like him. I can't help it. And sometimes I think he sees it and that seems to shrivel him up even more. I am sure you are exaggerating. No, sir, I am not. In form, the other day, he made one of his classical jokes. Of course, nobody laughed because nobody understood it. Myself included. Still, I knew he had meant it as, fun, as funny. So I laughed. Out of ordinary common politeness and feeling of, uh, feeling of a bit sorry for him for having made a poor joke. Now I can't remember what the joke was, but suppose I make it. Now you laugh, sir. Okay, just a second, please. Now he is, uh, as Taplow is telling Mr. Frank about Mr. Crocker Harris, somewhere uh, he starts using a very casual tone, not that even taking the teacher's name respectfully. So he is addressing him as Croc Croc again. So Mr. Frank, as another teacher, he finds it disrespectful and he stops in his head there and he says, Mr. Crocker Harris. So Taplow then repeats, yes, it's Mr. Crocker Harris. And he tells her the funny thing is that in spite of everything, I do rather like him. He says that still, in spite of everything, I still like him and I can't help it. And sometimes I think that he sees it and that seems to shrivel him up even more. And when the person finds that this poor child likes him, he still shrivels him up. Means he is more angry that he likes him more. Right? So Frank, I'm sure you are exaggerating. So Mr. Frank here says that I'm sure you're telling too much. You're talking too much. You're exaggerating the entire thing. You're stretching it too much. Right? So on this, uh, Taplow says, no, sir, I'm not there. So he is just in, uh, you know, to, uh, just to exactly tell him what he means by saying this. He's just giving an example. He says uh, that, uh, I'm not, in the form of the other day, he made one of his classical jokes. He told one of the jokes uh, to the students. And of course, nobody laughed because nobody understood it. The joke was of a kind that nobody understood it. Nobody laughed at it. Uh, Taplo himself, no, none of the students laughed at this joke. Still, I knew he had meant it as funny. So I laughed. Now, Taplo understood that according to him, it is funny. So Taplo, in order that... Uh, uh, Mr. Crocker Harris should not feel offended that nobody has laughed at his joke. So Taplow laughed at him, at the joke. Now, out of ordinary common politeness and feeling a bit sorry for him for having made a poor joke. Now, I can't remember what the joke was, but suppose I make it, now you laugh, sir. So he says, but then uh, you can say out of feeling of sorry and that uh, he would feel offended. So I laughed at him. So he says, now, sir, you uh, now if suppose I make a joke, now you laugh, sir. So Frank laughs. Right? This is like they're trying to actually come into the scene that what happened and how he would have felt and how the how other students have felt and how Taplo reacted on that. Please continue. Taplo, you laughed at my joke, I noticed. I must confess that I am pleased at the advance your Latin has made since you are so readily have understood what the rest of the form did not. Perhaps now... You would be good enough to explain it to them so that they too can share your pleasure. Come along, Taplo. Do not be so selfish as to keep a good joke to yourself. Riti, just a second. Let me uh, read out that setting part. The door upright is pushed open and Millie Crocker Harris enters. Now, Millie Crocker Harris is Mr. Crocker Harris's wife. She is a thin woman in her late 30s, rather more smartly dressed than the general run of schoolmaster's wives. She's wearing a cape and carries a shopping basket. She closes the door and then stands by the screen watching Taplow and Frank. It is a few seconds before they notice her. So now uh, Mrs. Crocker Harris has entered in. So she is uh, nicely dressed up. And before uh, it's a few seconds before they notice her. So she was standing before and they notice her a little later. Please continue. Come now, I want someone else, no. just a second, please. Just a second, please. I want somebody to read out Millie's part. 
uh, anybody could read out Millie's part? Okay, I'll read it. Leave it. I'll read it. Please continue, Frank. Come along, Taplu. Do not be so selfish as to keep a good joke to yourself. Tell the others. Oh, Lord. Frank turns quickly and seems infinitely relieved at seeing Millie. So Frank turns quickly and he seems that he's relieved at the sight of Millie because ultimately he was waiting for Mr. Crocker Harris and now Mrs. Crocker Harris is there. So he will be doing whatever job they want him to do for him and uh, do for them and he'll be relieved then. Please oh, continue. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, without expression, hello. She comes down to the sideboard and puts a basket on it. Do you think she heard? I think she did. She was standing there quite time. If she did and she tells him, there goes my remove. Nonsense. Millie takes the basket from the sideboard, moves above the table and puts the basket on it. Uh, now Millie is speaking to Taplo. Waiting for my husband? Oh, uh, yes. He is at the bursars and might be there quite a time. If I were you, I'd go. He's, he said most particularly I was to come. Well, why don't you run away for a quarter of an hour and come back? She unpacks some things from the basket. Supposing he gets here before me. I'll take the blame. She takes a prescription out of the basket. I, I tell you what, you can do a job for him. Take this prescription to the chemist and get it made up. All right, Mrs. Kroger Harris. That's it. Here the story ends. Right? Now, see how the story moves on. We find what the entire plot is about. The entire plot is where we find this child Taplo waiting for his teacher, Mr. Crocker Harris, who we understand is a very strict teacher, a very stern one, and who was, and uh, who has punished this child to come for some extra work as he had not attended one of his classes as he was unwell. Now, Taplo, who is waiting here, at that time he meets Mr. Frank. Mr. Frank is uh, in the same school perhaps, and he's a uh, science teacher. Right? He is younger in age as comparison, in comparison to Mr. Crocker Harris. Mr. Crocker Harris is old. Uh, now here the child is somewhere he is not uh, willing to be there because uh, it was an off day and he used to go to play golf. But because the teacher has called him, so he has left his golf classes and he was there. So he was really not very happy to be there and he's waiting for quite a long time. Now when he was waiting, he had a discussion with Mr. Frank. Discussion related to teachers, discussion related to Mr. Crocker Harris, especially uh, what kind of a person he is. He tells that he's very strict. He's very stern. He punishes teachers, children, and he doesn't like to be liked. And he loves uh, that people should laugh at his joke. But then you never know how he will uh, react on that. And he has not yet given his uh, remove. He's uh, waiting for his remove. And if he is not working for him, that might affect his remove. As I told you, remove is like a kind of a clearance from that class to move on to the next one, right? So we come to know about all these things related to Mr. Crocker Harris. Frank, uh, being a younger teacher, somewhere he realized that all teachers are not same and he tries to explain this thing to uh, Taplo also. But at the same time, when he finds that Taplo is crossing that limit uh, of being disrespectful towards teacher, like uh, in between he starts calling Crocker -Cro to Mr. Crocker Harris, he stops him there and tells him to speak properly. His name was it, Mr. Cro speak Mr. Crocker Harris. So Taplo then is, uh, as he comes comfort becomes comfortable with uh, Mr. Frank, he opens up more about the teachers, how he feels about certain teachers, Mr. Crocker Harris especially, and he says that I can't help it because I actually like him as a teacher. And uh, but still, the more you like him, the more he hates you. He's like a nut who has. Uh, shut himself. He has no feelings at all and he's still waiting. So it was while they were having this discussion that we find that uh, Mrs. Crocker Harris entered into the room and she was standing there for, for a few while before she was noticed by both of them. Right. So uh, then she leaves the basket and she says that I'm waiting for my husband on this 
Mr. Uh, on this, Frank uh, Taplow tells Mrs. Crocker Harris that uh, he was supposed he has to give some work to him. So he says that he has gone to somebody's house and he will take some time. So if it was I in your place, I would have left. So he says that in case if he comes back, now Mrs. Crocker Harris uh, suggests him that you can go back, you can go and come back later on. So. He says that if he comes back before me, then what will happen? So she says that you can do one thing. You can take this prescription and you can do this work for him. Get this prescription made. So Taplow runs away to do that work for Mr. Crocker Harris because the poor child is quite scared of the teacher. And more than scared, he is somewhere concerned that his remove might be stuck if he is not obeying or not taking up the commands of Mr. Crocker Harris. Am I clear with the story, children? Saksham, we can give a pause here. The chapter is a short extract from the play, The Browning Version, written by Terence Ruttingen. Now, it's an extract of the play, the, the big one, that's The Browning Version. It is a one-act play set in a school. There are three characters in the play, Taplow, a student, Frank, and Mr. Crocker Harris. Taplow is a 16-year-old student. Frank is a young science teacher. And Mr. Crocker Harris is a middle-aged school teacher. Now, Taplow has arrived in the school to do extra work for Mr. Crocker Harris, right? Three characters are Taplow, Mr. Frank, and Mr. Crocker Harris. Taplow being a 16-year-old student. Uh, Mr. Frank is a young science teacher, and Mr. Crocker Harris is a middle-aged teacher. Now, Taplow has arrived in the school to do extra work for Mr. Crocker Harris. He meets Frank, and they both engage in a conversation, right? He meets Frank, and they both are... Uh, talking to each other while Taplow waits for Mr. Harris. Later enters Millie, Mrs. Uh, Millie, who is Mrs. Crocker Harris, who talks to Taplow. Now, the Browning version, I'm starting with the summary. Uh, I want one of you to please read it. Ankita, will you please read it? Ankita, is my voice audible? I can't hear her. Okay, Riddhi, is the screen visible to you? Yes, ma'am. Please read it, Riddhi. Okay, ma'am. The scene is set in a school where Taplow arrives to do extra work on the last day for Mr. Crocker Harris, as he missed a day before. He finds Frank, a science teacher in the school. Frank asked him his name and the reason he is there that day. Taplow studies in the lower fifth standard and is about to get his result from his teacher, Mr. Harris. Mr. Crocker Harris usually reveals the, res the result on the last day of school and unlike every other teacher, he follows the rules and regulations strictly. They, bo they both started having okay, a conversation. Wait, 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 just wait for a second. Now, uh, this thing I've told you in the beginning itself, the Taplow was punished by Mr. Crocker Harris as he has missed a day before as he missed a day in the school. Now, Frank asked him his name and the reason why he is here that day. Frank asked him the reason that why he was there. So, Taplow studies in the lower fifth standard and is about to get his result from his teacher, Mr. Harris. But Mr. Crocker Harris usually reveals the result on the last day of the school. And unlike every other teacher, he follows the rules and regulations strictly. Please continue. They both started having a conversation where Frank asked him several questions. We don't see Mr. Crocker Harris in the whole chapter, but we get to know a lot about him. Taplow wants to take science as a remove because he finds the subject extremely interesting. Frank, on the other hand, doesn't like what he teaches in the school. Mr. Crocker Harris is hardly human as he never shrivels up. He told Taplow that he will get what he deserves. Nothing less and nothing more. And this makes him tense. Taplo, uh, just just a second, Riddhi. Just give me a pause, please. Just a second. There was a disturbance in between. There was an urgent call from school, so I had to take up. Let's continue, please. Taplo further imitates Mr. Harris twice in front of Frank. Frank admits that he envy uh, that he envies Mr. Crocker Harris because of the effect he has on them. Taplo told him that he never shows his emotions like other teachers and never beats them and never beats them up like other masters. He is not a sadist. 
as they were deeply engaged in a conversation okay, second, please. here in detail he talks about mr crocker harris uh taplo wants to take science as a remove because he finds the subject extremely interesting now frank on the other hand doesn't like what the, uh, what he teaches in the school right so uh, mr crocker harris is hardly human as he never shrivels up he told taplo that he will get what he deserves so he talks about that uh, he has done so much extra work for him so when even then when he asked him that will he be able to get the remove so he says that um, you will get nothing more than what you deserve so nothing less and nothing more and this makes him tense so because of which the child poor child is more tense chapter further imitates mr harris twice in front of frank that is also we discussed something yesterday that he uh, imitated the teacher that how he spoke how he instructed for that frank admits that he envies mr crocker harris because of the effect he has on them so here uh, we find that the other teacher mr frank who is a science teacher and who is younger in age to mr crocker harris he wonders that how all the children have uh, they're scared of mr crocker harris right so taplo told him that he never shows his emotions like other teachers and never beats them up like other masters neither he beats children nor he opens up in front of the children nor he uh, expresses his emotions he is not a sadist please con uh, continue from here as they were as they were deeply engaged in a conversation milly enters and comes with a shopping bag she asks taplo to go out and come back in a quarter of an hour as mr crocker harris will be late If her husband arrives earlier, she will take the blame. She further gives him a prescription and instructs him to purchase medicines for her from the chemist. Taplo follows and goes away to do the job. Right, I think this thing is quite clear. We find that uh, Millie, Mr. Crocker Harris's wife, enter wives enter in. He enters into the room and uh, then he asks Frank uh, that if he was waiting for her husband. She. so she says uh, she just asked him that if he was waiting for mr crocker harris uh, when frank tells him that he had been waiting for him for quite a long time she said that uh, if she was there in his place she would have left and on this she further tells him that uh, he can come back within within after few uh, maybe an hour or so but uh, then we find frank being worried here that if in his absence mr crocker harris comes back then he will be in a problem so on this milly crocker harris advises him by giving him a prescription that you can work for him you can do a thing do a work for him that you can get this prescription made till the time he comes back right so here the story ends now 